It's about to get fun. Let's go! That's Rook's kill! On your right! Chakra to Ebra. I don't have a good feeling about this place. No, but we've got to keep going. Barrier. I bet the eruption's on the other side. We'll need to cut off the tendrils to break through. While fighting our dark spot. <laughs> All right. Better move before more darkspawn show up. Ledge, vantage point for taking out the tendrils. A ballista could be useful. We're through. Time to see what's back there. What is... Is that the Blight Eruption? That's messed up. The Darkspawn are protecting it. We need to take them out. Let's go! it. Let's get that eruption. All right. We strike and the whole thing goes up. All right, 
Time to destroy this thing. They aren't blighted. Were they dormant? Maybe. They're beautiful. Much like you. Ah, Rook. Hi. We knew when you hit that eruption. The blight around Lavendel reacted. And there was a sound in it. Like nothing we've heard before. What happened in there? What was it like? And there's some pretty scary things in the Minrathus catacombs, but... I've never seen anything like that. A story for your fellow shadows? Not sure even the Viper will believe it. When the eruption was destroyed, some of the bigger tendrils pulled back. The remaining blight won't vanish overnight, but it's a good sign. And this place opened up. The flowers here, they managed to survive, buried, untouched. They have a chance to return now. Look at you, out here with the flowers and a moment alone that I walked into the middle of. You're fine. Yes, please. Enjoy the flowers. We thought the Grey Warden's purpose would end when the last Archdemons died. And that time's almost here. It's unbelievable! The Order is those of us left now. When the Archdemons fall, some Wardens will hang up their swords. Until they're calling, at least. So, the Wardens are finished? No, our numbers may get smaller, but Efka and I will be here. Others will stay too. There's still Blight in the world. There's something new calling to it. And to us. There's Blight inside us too. If it changed out there, have we changed as well? What matters is that if new evils show up, we'll be here to keep them back. Do you really think something inside you has changed? It's possible. Or maybe we're the same. But does that mean we'll be the same? You can't sense the blight. But trust us, it feels different. And the sound is changing too. As for what it means, it's like Antoine said. We don't know yet. Are you doing okay with all this? Really? Don't worry. I'm good. I've got everything I need right here. Me too. I'm sure you'll be fine, but if there's anything I can do, just say. Of course. It's good we answered your first letter, and it didn't catch fire. Uh, what? It may have come close to an explosive, but we all met in the end. The Blight feels relentless most of the time. We see what it does up close. The world dying, how it spreads. But we keep going. And look! These flowers can make it back. They can. Okay, I'll leave you two alone with the flowers and the sweet moment I didn't interrupt. It's fine, I promise. Are you worried we don't go on dates? <laughs> because we do. Uh -huh. Lavendel was named for flowers. 
They must have been everywhere before. When we get back... We can stay here a bit longer first. Oh, yes. I thought I heard birds earlier. Maybe we can find them? The wetlands aren't fully healed. But the flowers came back. Hey. <laughs> you little guys smell good. Keep growing. Stopped the autopsy. <coughs> Took down their comic maker. She did your job for you. She's a hero. Just a meddling busybody. Where was Rook when the dragon attacked our city? I can't believe you're defending them. I am not defending anyone, Jacobus. You're letting them be a part of this? My cousin died because the governor didn't stop the Antom from... from... Uh, from taking over. Jacobus? I'm fine. But I'm not going to be a part of this. Well, now that that unpleasantness is dealt with, about your mysterious informant. Whoever they are, they know the Antom and Treviso. Your message made it sound like this informant also knows where the gods are staging their ritual. Treviso does not need this troublemaker. This should be left to proper officials. It very much concerns Rook. We have a contact who offers access to the Butcher and privileged information on the gods. A chance to find your gods and to free the city. A prize for both our causes. Both are important. Strong with the crows, strong against the gods. Someone else seems to think so. The contact knows the city and the Antam. How do you know it's for real? They gave us patrol patterns. Dreadnought arrivals. Their information is real. And you didn't share this with me? 
People in this city continue to sicken and die. Do you not have other more pressing matters to attend to? So where are we meeting? Near the field hospital, where the market used to be. And they ask for me, not you or Viago. Even with what happened to Treviso, your fight against the gods is spoken of by many. You have respect, and no small admiration. From who, though? That's the question. What about the human help that Antan was getting? You have any leads on that? We continue what you started. The other Talons are turning over every stone. You trust them? Not even your first Talon is safe from your infighting. We are all Antivan Crows. And yet those of us sworn to Treviso are beneath you. Hypothetically, what if I'm walking into an ambush? I would prepare for one. Not everything is an adder in the wardrobe. I said to prepare. I didn't say not to go. There's really no clue who it is? They're foolish enough to think crows are reliable. That's a clue about their worth. They promise help. So do you, when you're not killing each other. Oh, Treviso deserves better. It's getting the best. That has yet to be proven. I'll talk with this mystery contact. And the rest of us will hope not to get caught in your crossfire again. If we can remove the Butcher and weaken the Antam, then perhaps Treviso can start to heal from the Blight. With luck, this informant is our key to that. Find them, Rook. Hear what they have to say. Our informant is near the field hospital, Rook. They said you'd know them on sight. Remember, there are injured people there. Don't damage anything. An unknown contact. Sounds like a trap. We're fighting gods with the crows. I'm curious who would try to trap us. If our informant actually knows where Elganon and Gilanane are performing their next ritual, it's worth the risk. Okay. Viago and Taya said our informant is somewhere in the market. Let's find them. I just hope their supposed information about the god's location is actually true. There's no need for that. Treviso is the trap, not this meeting. Please. So tense. I promise I'll signal when it's time to fight. Strange way to ambush someone. <laughs> I don't have to ambush anyone. You think I couldn't just march on the crows? Scattered on town flock to me. I have the soldiers to raise your casino and every inch of this city. But I'll bet there's no profit in actually winning. Hmm. There's money being made by the occupation. But not by me. I said Treviso was the trap. And I meant it. The jewel of Antiva. She sings, even while caged. Such purity in every stone. It's trapped my heart. I love this city.
You have a strange way of showing your affection. I conquered it. I didn't betray it. Not like the cattle born here. You know there are traitors here. They ransom their own city. Literal gods stalk the land, but these filth worship their own purses. But you... You're different. You and the crows stay true to your roles. It means something when you die, and even more when you kill. You're as much a work of art as this city. And you... want a secret from me. You're not an end-of-the-world type. Are you with the gods or not? <sighs> the gods... They give strength. But all they ask in return is everything. I can feel their corruption. I can hear their whispers. They're calling for a ritual. If I give in, I'll know where you need to go. But I will lose my jewel. My city! So... You live in a casino. Let us make a game of this. I will become what the gods want. Welcome their whispers. Meet me and show me if the crows deserve my city. The butcher was our contact, and he's letting himself fall to the blight. Finish them off. We need to go after the butcher. So the butcher wants us to prove we're worthy of saving Treviso. That's what's happening. He's given in to the gods' corruption. Everyone's acting like normal, like the Butcher hasn't gone nuts. Who'd believe it? I don't. Safer to keep your head down, I guess. I see what you need. See? Prove you deserve it. Hear the shift in his voice. He's changing. There's the Butcher. He's a Reaver and fighting his own aunt Tom. How's that thing going to tell us about the gods? We have to hope he's still in there. We're not alone. I see you, Rook, and I see the ritual. Act me, fight me, win this city. I see Tearstone Island. The ritual. Tearstone Island. He's gone. And he named the ritual site Tearstone Island. Actually, kind of surprised the butcher didn't lie. If I could have killed him without giving him what he wanted, I would have. At least he gave us what we came for, though. Yes, truly, the butcher was a paragon of honor and virtue, and we are all devastated to see him go. Eventually. And now you have a location for your final pointless confrontation. The gods are at Tearstone Island. Isn't that what you wanted? A chance to die a hero's death? So go, leave Treviso to those who deserve it. What's left of it, anyways? You godless traitor. You weren't powerless against the Butcher. You were working with him. I don't expect you to understand this, but sometimes governance means not showing your entire hand. You sold Treviso out to the Antom. I did what I did to help this city, to save it, to keep my people from being slaughtered like cattle by the Antom. And you, 
You let us suffer and sicken in favor of Menrathus. I gave up the crows. You gave up the whole city. Treviso is dying, Rook, and its killer wears your face. Sometimes there's no good choice left. Just a bunch of different bad ones. A leader owns the consequences of that choice, no matter what they are. What if Treviso's people could have fought back? Could have rallied to the city's defense? But the Anton kept them weak, let them die. That happened because of a choice you made. I live with the consequences of my decisions. Can you say the same? You live with nothing, Rook! You have the luxury of distraction, of defining all your actions by the greater good. So take your team to Tearstone Island. Face Elgernon and Gillenane, strike them down. Or don't. Either way, Treviso is dying. But it's still mine. Leave its funerary rites to one who cared enough about this city to make themselves its villain. It makes sense now. Every decision they made shows it. The governor betrayed us all. And for what? A city that is sick and whose recovery will be measured in years. I take it you heard? The butcher's dead. And in his place is the traitor we knew was lurking. And the Antom fell in line? Whatever the Antom are looking for, eventually's giving it to them. The blight changes things. Even the Antam fear it. The governor has given them a clear purpose. They were more cunning than I thought. If only we'd figured out it was Avenchi before all this started. I wish the same. But regret does neither of us good. We knew someone had delivered Treviso to the Butcher. You brought us their name. The hand that leashed Treviso. The Butcher was the mouth. But the hand was Ivenchi all along. They think they have the power in the Antam, and a network doing their will. But we have the face of our enemy. Ivenchi will be hiding, so we will hound their Antam and make them desperate. When the governor show themselves again, we end this. Ivenchi keeps talking about restoring order and rebuilding Treviso, but what then? I believe the good governor's plan was to risk the city to try and claim the nation. If the Antam beheaded the crows, who would merchant princes hire? Who would invaders fear? As if the Antam would fill that role. This was a bookkeeper's angry grab at power. When Ivenchi left, they made it sound like they were planning something. I suspect it will be about restoring order as they see it and that the crows will be first on their list. Whatever the good governor's intent, we'll end it. You're not concerned the gods will send the Antam more support? The gods might come for us, but they're coming for everyone. I believe you are crafting the answer to that, and we will help as we can. We'll stop Ivenchi. The gods? Did you learn where they will be? Tearstone Island. Ivenchi confirmed it before they left. We know the time to face Elgernon and Gilanane approaches, but it will not take us long to find Ivenchi. If you truly want to help Treviso recover from the Blight, help us deal with the Governor. We'll let you know when we'll make our move. And after that, Treviso will be free. I need to get the team around the table and talk about what's next.
offer, dweller. I will answer. Up for a trip to the Cobbled Swan? <laughs> Why? What's happening? Nothing that I know of. With Aelia taken care of, I thought we'd check in. Maybe enjoy the swan for once? Ballara, I'm sorry about Syrian. It's hard. At least, I got to talk to him at the end. The real him. That's something. But I'm sure it still hurts. If anything happened to Hassan... Cherish him while you can. That's the truth. Stop demanding revenge for Treviso. Is there any more we can do? Have you heard about this shadow dragon? Cedar Siconia, back on stage. Where to see her? And who's the new friend? Heart was damaged when the Venatori grabbed me, but it's it's fixed up. Enough for that one to get her fish free next time. Sure, Hal. Someone bothers you again, you come to me. We'll make it clear you're protected. If you're pulling a scam on the fish fry, playing it fair. As fair as this gets. Cross my heart. Right. Enough business talk. We're the heroes of Docktown, and we haven't celebrated. Drinks are on me! Wicked Grace? Rock. <laughs> You're a killer, I can tell. My money's on Nev. Nice move. Hasn't led me wrong yet. Is that flattery or a trap? Always the first. We'll see about the second. All right, Nev. Smart bets on you. Smart's not letting you deal. Last hand to me? No trick up your sleeve? What can I say? What's this? Rights to the threads. Gotta have a boss. Careful. Nev might make you respectable. <laughs> Her call. What game are we playing now? Alia took down Damas. You took down Alia. So I went on merit. Trying to stop him fighting. The threads protect their streets. You're the same. You do what it takes. That's good for business. Good for us. We'll give you eyes, information, whatever you need. Ask and I'm on it. I have lines. We're on your side of them. 
Threads live and breathe this place. It's home, and no one messes with it. All right. The Thread Boss. And you thought I was trouble. You still are. You know, I was going to ask you a favor. You can call it an order now. I'm not the only one who needs eyes on this city. Have you heard of the Shadow Dragons? I is that... You, you know him? If I'm not here, he asks, you answer. You got it, boss. All right, who's up for another game? Honest one this time, seriously. Then let the Viper deal. Ooh, this should be good. <laughs> It worked. The crows have harried the Antam, and Ivenchi is revealed. But I did not think this is what they planned. It is bold. And it will doom us all. Rook, good. We have discovered what Ivenchi is planning for Treviso. When you fought the Kamek Master in the garrison, you mentioned a note you found that said some Kamek had gone missing. We have discovered who stole it. Ivenchi. The governor intends to release it all around the city to pacify violent seditionists. They called us reckless and now... <sighs> now Ivenchi will ruin the minds of thousands in this city to have their peace and order. Who is Ivenchi planning to poison with the Kamek? Aside from the crows? People who have spoken up too loudly against the Antam. Anyone too friendly with the crows? I doubt Ivenchi is familiar with poisons. I guarantee the Kamek will spread to the rest of the city, as well. Destroying your own people's minds. How could Avenchi do this? By telling themselves there is nothing else to be done. After the dragon attack, and then the blight... The governor is a coward who has given up on Treviso. Better to poison the last of it themselves than let anyone else solve these things. It is finally time to strike. Go to the garrison and prevent Ivenchi from releasing the Kamek. Once you are there, Thea and I will lead the Crows against the rest of Ivenchi's forces in the city. Understood. There is something else. Jacobo stormed off earlier. He did not look well. Look out for him, would you? Of course. We'll head to the garrison. Do you think Ivenchi would target the field hospital? I would not put anything past them now.
I heard the butcher was wearing a There's the garrison. You look distracted. Something on your mind? You ever get a bad feeling you can't shake, but you don't know if it's for you or someone else? With my job, it's usually both. <sighs> yeah. On to the garrison and the governor. Please, go on. You ever get a bad feeling you can't shake, but you don't know if it's for you or someone else? With my job, it's usually both. <sighs> yeah. The courtyard looks empty. No guards. Where are the Anton? Eventually must be further in. We clear the garrison this time. Eventually's got to know there's no way out for a traitor. That explains why Avengers aren't on. We're trying to run. More trouble. Okay, now for Avenchi. I will see you dead if it's the last thing I do before the flight takes me! Bold of them. Something's wrong. Something in the air. Wait, are these on Tom real? I see the comic is working. Good work. I told you what, it won't end any differently. Why don't you die? Why don't you give up? Now leave it yours. <coughs> if that damned dark spawn at the gates hadn't scratched me, blighted me, if you hadn't interfered. It wouldn't have made a difference. Neither will my death. My comet could have helped stabilize the city. <coughs> but it's still blighted. Dying. Nothing can save Treviso now.
We just stopped the governor from poisoning people. That's a start. I did it to protect the city! You did it because you wanted it for yourself. You say you did all this for Treviso, eventually to protect it. But you never really believed in it. <coughs> what would you know about the city I love? <laughs> If Rook hadn't stopped the governor in time. None of that. It is time to celebrate a victory. Rook! I should have wine. We should toast you! Ivenchi is dead. The comic is being disposed of. All thanks to you. The garrison's a mess. Details. The Antom remain, though with Ivenchi gone, I think we will be able to persuade them to move on in the coming months. People are being moved to safer areas outside the Blight. Crows have time now to patrol for Darkspawn. It will take years, but we can plan for Treviso's future now that it has one. Treviso would have fallen long ago if it really didn't have a chance. I'm not so sure. A city is only as healthy as those who care for it. You never gave up, Rook. We will repay that in full. But life is so dull if all we talk about are responsibilities. It is time to celebrate. For our victory. For Treviso's freedom. For the crows. What an excellent idea. Viago, dear, you mentioned something about getting us drinks? I think we've done what we can for Treviso. We've shown everyone you can stand against the Antom and the Blight.
manifestation. Lucanus. He looks just like me. Spite, I mean, when he manifests. That makes sense, doesn't it? <sighs> What's on your mind? I've been thinking. Treviso is as safe as we can make it. So, when my contract to you is fulfilled, Spite and I will go our separate ways. Literally, I'm going to seek out a way to separate us, wherever that takes me. What was it Nev said? That killing the demon in the Fade could do it? Could. She says there are no guarantees. Besides, our circumstances are unique. Because you and Spite were forced together? Um, because I pay my debts. Even to him. And what about the other person in this equation? How does he feel about this? He dreams of freedom. I've shared those dreams. He never chose this Rook. Something must change. You sound like you still got some doubts. Being possessed. It's not like separating oil and water. Each element permanently infuses the other. Spite wears my face, uses my skills. I know I've grown stronger. So, say I cast out Spite with all he's learned from me. What then? What if I free myself, but unleash a true demon of Virantium? If it came to that, you could handle him. Or are you worried you wouldn't be able to put him down? I worry that I'd miss him. If Spike gets his freedom, it's his choice what to do with it. But you can't control that. All you can do is trust that you're making the right call. For both of you. <sighs> I know. But from someone else, it's easier to believe. And it's easier to see a future I can live with when this is done. To strike hardest, one must aim beyond the target. Let's end it, Rook. You and I and Spite and all the fury we can muster. Tearstone Island. That's where Elganon and Gillanane will perform their ritual. With an eclipse, those two can finish their dagger, then tear open the Fade. After that, we've witnessed the horrors Gillanane creates with even a trickle of the Blight. What happens with a flood? Next eclipse is a month away. That's not a lot of time. Getting past the Antom Navy won't be easy. They'll be on high alert. We'd need our own fleet to get past them, which we don't have. If anyone can find a way around that fleet, it's us. Everything seems impossible at the beginning. Just fight one battle at a time. Varric told me that. Damn right, kid. A single boat can sneak past a blockade. We just need to find something that floats. The Antam fleet may not spot us, but the gods see much farther. Worse. They know about us, specifically. They'll be waiting. Let's make sure there's too many distractions for them to spot us. 
Sounds like you have a plan. Harding, reach out to our allies. Wardens, Veil Jumpers, all of them. Tell them to be ready to start swinging. We start enough fires, make some noise, and the gods will look everywhere for us. Except at their front door. You've helped our allies, Rook. They're ready to return the favor. That takes care of the approach. But what about when we get there? We'll have two gods waiting. Who knows how many on Tom? We'll need to be at our best. Question is, are we there yet? We are ready as we'll ever be. I'll send off messages to our allies. They'll be ready. What about the Inquisitor? I know she's been busy fighting in the south, but this doesn't end until the gods are dead. She knows that. Saving the world? Sounds like the Inquisitor. Reach out to her. Morrigan, too. We could use their help. I hear that we're ready as we'll ever be, but we can always be more prepared. Weeks until the next eclipse gives us time. Let's use it wisely. Agreed. Get some rest. Then we'll take care of outstanding business. Events are weaving together quickly now, Rook. For good or ill, the fate of the world shall be decided soon. I received Harding's missive. Your plan is sound. So the Inquisitor's in? Indeed, although she requires a few days to set events in motion. Time is needed to allot her responsibilities to those who are capable of managing them. Once settled, she has pledged herself to your cause. The snake's head must be severed, else the body simply grows anew. And what of your other allies? Will they also be ready? There is no room left for doubt or hesitation. Only one of us has a fragment of a god inside them, Mithal. I carry only her memories, not her strength, nor her capacity for strategy. Well, either way, our allies will be ready. As they must be. There will not be another opportunity to foil the schemes of Elganon and Gilanane. 
If we fail in this, they gain all that is needed to reshape the world in their twisted image. The evil put into place with the aid of their Antum servants at Tearstone will cover the entire world. Look, the gods can't blight the world without their dagger. And they can't finish their dagger until the eclipse, which isn't for another... Elganon. While you gather your people, I will find the Inquisitor. And Rook, I wish you great luck. Elgernon just caused an eclipse. The gods can finish their dagger. We need to move now. But we were supposed to have weeks to prepare. How much time do we actually have? It's not weeks, I can tell you that much. The eclipse is slowly forcing an alignment between the stars and powerful currents in the Fade. Which means what? I'm afraid we've only a few hours until the gods complete their dagger. Lucanus is right. We have to go now. No time to scrape up an army, even if we had one. You think we're enough? What will we be facing on the island? There's going to be blight crap. And where there's blight, dark spawn. Right. Tearstone Island's also crawling with the entire Antom army. They've had time to prepare. It'll be brutal. So will the gods. We're walking right into their lair. We may not all make it out again. We're the only thing standing between every single living creature and the Blight. I don't want to watch the world fall and know I didn't do everything I could. So let's stop the gods, whatever it takes. We're with you. The gods won't leave that island. No matter what. No matter what. Then we leave as soon as we can. I should talk with Nev before we leave. See how she's doing. Not taking a break? It's our last chance before. I'll get to it. The gods are rushing this. Rushing us. You're worried? Maybe. So the job's gone sideways. We'll make it work. That doesn't make it easy. <laughs> oh, I know. When this is sober... Don't. Don't what? Talk about after. I... If this isn't something you want, 
That's not what this is. Then what? The job? I know one will get me eventually, but you... I can't think about after and you. Not when... If something happens... Nev. Oh, I knew you were trouble. It's one lucky break and close call after another and you... I let myself... When do the tables turn, Rook? Because they do. They always... I'm not going anywhere. Nev, I... People say a lot of things. They don't always see it through. I will. It's not that they don't want to. Not always. I'll always try. You scare me. Trouble. Gonna be. I should talk with Varric too. Get any last advice for killing a god? Varric, I hope I'm not, uh, interrupting whatever you're doing. Take a deep breath. The gods changed all the rules. We're going in blind. The whole team is pretty sure we're gonna die. And they might be right. Weird shit is happening. Of course the team's on edge. It's not a personal failing for you to be scared either. I don't know how to carry this weight, Varric. No one does. This job was always going to call for someone who could improvise. You're on this team for a reason too, you know. I think the world deserves more than me leading the charge. But I'll think about what you said. Go on. You know where to find me if you need me. Well, let's not keep the gods waiting. You've got allies from Revenge to the Vara now. If the enemy makes a move, they'll see it.
unfortunate we weren't spotted coming in. A lot of dreadnoughts. One shot is all it takes. Now we just have to deal with that. Morgan didn't exaggerate. That's the entire Antom army over there. Armies are big and clumsy. We can do this. Agreed. If we move quick enough. The gods will know we're here soon. And so will the Antom. We need a distraction. One team to draw off that army, and another to stop the gods from finishing their dagger. I'll take half the team and cause some trouble down by the Antom ships. Wait! I'm the scout. I can get us around this place faster. There'll be Blight farther up, Harding. And Darkspawn. I've fought them before. And I've got the stone on my side. Lace? Hold on. Someone has to do this, Tosh. So who will it be? Harding's right. This requires a good scout. I'll take care of it. I promise. I'll take the rest of us and get to the gods before they finish their dagger and cut open the Fade. Once we're in place, Lucanus will take Solus's dagger and ambush Gilanane. Elgernon's pet. One problem at a time. As long as he has that Archdemon, he's invulnerable. Concentrate on Gilanane first. We kill her, take the gods' dagger, then deal with Elgernon. We should go. Wish me a little luck. You got it. Harding? Like you said back at the lighthouse, Rook. We stop the gods. Whatever it takes. Quickest path ahead, but we might reach the gods before we're spotted. That must be where the gods are making the dagger. The ruins are funnels. They're concentrating the magic used for the ritual. Well, so much for that. Quick! We can't let them raise an alarm! We've got mortars! Behind you! So they hired human mercenaries. The Antarm aren't taking any chances.
Sounds like a lot more on Tom across the bay. What are they saying? Something about Gillanine giving them world crushing power? Must be Harding's team distracting the on Tom. I hope they're all right. Mercenaries again. They have mages. We can make quick work of this.
How brave of you to seek me out, Rook. We shall meet soon. I just heard Elganon. Lusa Khan. He said my name. What I said before, I want things to go our way, I do. I know. Just find a way out. Can you do that, Trouble? I can if you can. What did this place used to be? The way it's laid out, it, it seems built for this kind of ritual. Another group of mercenaries! You can't let them slow us down. Gun us at range. Huh? Watch it! <gasps> Light, while we're getting closer. If the gods finish their dagger, open the fade and unleash all the blight. Even Solus was terrified of that. Right. He's bad, but not that bad. <laughs> Your loyalty will be rewarded. Villainane and I must complete our task before we join you. But this magic we harness will transform the world and all those within it. Closer to where the gods are making their dagger. Traitor to her gods. 
the Frost Wielder, to vent her drink. There are others. Find them. Bring us what remains. Damn. This is bad. We have to hurry. The Anton will be looking everywhere after hearing that. It's Harding. Rug! Hey! Harding, are you okay? We drew off some on, Tom, but you have to hurry. More are on the way. Can you open the way out of here? I think so. Let me look. Not today, we won't! Careful. We'll meet you above. There are things I would have of you, Rook. Draw closer. You will learn what they are. Elganon again. Don't listen to him. I won't. Get clear. Ugh. A lot more blight on this side. More on time, too. Solus's dagger. Our ritual carries momentum. Power. It cannot be interrupted by mortals. I will send my creations to assist your own. Oh no. Dark spawn! that flash of green light? That's a tear in the Fade. The gods' magic. It's starting to weaken the Fade. The gods might be close, but they'd be gloating if they finished their dagger. If we kill Gilanane and steal that dagger, then Elganon can't unleash the Blight.
Bait tears blocking the way. We have to set it off. Faters. Remember to keep your distance. Another fade tear. Oceans of magic are coursing around us because of the gods' ritual. Then we'd better find Gilanane. Quickly. Wait, wait, wait. There are wards blocking the way out. Blood magic. 
one touch could kill. How do we get through? Ideas? Patterns are familiar. If I can fracture the harmonics, we could get through. Maybe. I deal with blood magic. I can stop the damage long enough to burn out the wards. That's risky, Nev. Really risky. I can't ask you to do that. Your way is just as dangerous. Don't like it, but one of us has to do it. This is your territory, Ballara. Just go slow. I'll be careful. I'll keep this fade tear in check while you work, but with things so unpredictable, I fear anything might happen once we kill Gillanane. Solus warned me that there'd always be costs and consequences to fighting gods. But if we kill Gillanane, snatch the god's dagger and escape, maybe we prove him wrong. I dearly hope so. <laughs> There! Great work. Thanks. Be careful. The gods might know we're here now. That is a certainty. Ah! Lara! The Elvin are a scattered people, but fret not. I shall bring your mage gently back into our fold. You can all be forgiven by embracing the wisdom of surrender. Continue, and even the dread wolf will regret what I do to his pawn. Come on! Elganon and Gilanane are still on the island. If we move fast, we might get Ballara back. Damn it! Hold on, Belle! The gods know we're coming, but they still need to finish their dagger. We can divide their attention. Good idea. Half the team comes with me on the main path. Harding and the others keep out of sight and get Lucanus to the ritual. He kills Gillanay, and then we save Bilar. All this magic, it feels like a storm. Which means Elganard almost completed the dagger. Where's Gillanay? On the move. Spike can feel her hunting for us. We didn't come this far for nothing. Everything the gods have thrown at us, it's all because they know we can win. We'll kill Gilanane, we'll get our friend back, and then... And then Elgernon. We'll hold Gilanane's attention until Lucanus has a clear shot. Good luck, Harding. Like we said, whatever it takes. It's all yours. As is Gilanane. Here, dog spawn. On your left. The first age of gods was a time of conquest. The second age of God saw wonders built. Then came flight, pride, betrayal, and the third age of God was The child of the stone. 
Get around her so we... Holding! She hears you not.
Lucanus? Lucanus! And so you have your victory. You live. Gelenane does not. Are you not proud? You finally reached this moment. Or did you think you'd win the day without some painful sacrifice? <gasps> Don't stop that dragon. People will die. Innocent people. No one's retreating. We'll all die. The is attacking the north. <laughs> you and your friends stood against the gods. Your courage is laudable. Soulless. But mortals cannot win this battle. I am sorry, it is what must be. I did everything for you, Rook. You're worthless. Varric never believed in you. You are no leader. You were never up to it. You failed us all. What failure cuts your conscience now, I wonder? Bellara! Your friend is dead. Dead and gone. It was your fault. Your fault. Regret. Like all emotions. Is a powerful thing. It can bruise us, break us, or blind us to the truth. Regret is even strong enough to serve as the lock on a prison built to hold gods. But such a prison can hold any captive, even you. No! You are never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires. So through our connection, I molded you into someone the prison would accept in my place. Varric. Your work is done. This is where we talked when I was dreaming. But I'm not dreaming. Just have to find it. 